So today we're going to be taking a look at how to stop Windows spying on you. I really recommend that you do this and you can do it really easily in less than a minute. So in this video, we'll use the Windows host file to block certain domains and IP addresses calling home to Microsoft from your computer and sharing your information. Microsoft call it telemetry, but I call it collecting and monitoring information from your computer without your permission or knowledge for that matter. So now you could do this across your network with something like Pi-hole, but in this video, we'll be doing it on a single Microsoft Windows machine. So here's the host file that I was talking about. So first of all, we need to make a copy of that. So if we just control C and uh, just put that on the desktop, I'm just going to put that up here for now. Uh, and then with the one that's in the uh, directory, if we just rename that and just call that dot original. You can call it whatever you want, but just to identify that we are calling that something else. So you might need to give that system, um, system privileges. Once you've done that, let's just minimize that out and get this host file. So what we can do, we can open that and edit it with Notepad. So if we just do that, right click, edit with Notepad. And then once that's open, let me just uh, make that a little bit bigger. So what they want you to do here is list the IP addresses or domain names that you want to prevent any information going back to those domains. Now, luckily, uh, there's some people over in GitHub that have done this job for us, and I will leave a link in the description. What you want to do is scroll down to this table on this column here that says hosts, scroll down till it says Microsoft on the left, and then just left click on the link button. And here you can see there's a whole list of known DMA uh, domains and IP addresses that uh, your Windows Microsoft machine continually sends data back to. So this simple job is just to left click and highlight all of these domains, go right to the bottom, and grab them all. And this uh, database is maintained on a regular basis. So you can come back and grab the latest from time to time. Just press Control C and copy. And then if I just minimize that out, go back to the host file and then on the next line, to control V and paste, and then just do file and save, and then I can minimize that. And then what I'll do now is that host file that we've just edited, we can just put that back into the original directory. So if I just grab and put that in, you might need admin permissions. So just say yes to that. So you can see here the host file is now there and it's actually got a bit of a file size now. So 30 kilobits as opposed to the one kilobit before because it's now got that list of domains. Now that should start to, to block those domains, but we can do a test. So if I just open up, um, so if we go back to that website and if we just grab one of these domains, uh, so for example, let's do this one. So if I just copy that, Control C, minimize that out. And then if we open up the CMD function and we'll try to ping that address. So now if we just type in ping and then Control and V to paste and press enter, you can see here it says the ping request could not find that particular host. So that new host file has blocked it. Anyway, anyway that's, that's all there is to it. So for this particular Windows machine, I have now blocked that entire list of domains and I'm stopping Microsoft Windows from spying on me through those domains and IPs. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.